Yes, sports story, right? Final boot for Joe. Pundit kicked off RTE panel for replay. This is, a, they say, an exclusive, even though... Anyway. Uh, Joe Brawley has been dumped from the RTE panel for this weekend's Ireland football final replay. We can reveal... We were talking about that yesterday, but anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the Derry Pundit accused referee David Goff of being clearly influenced by the propaganda coming from Kerry in their first clash with Dublin. He's now been sidelined for Saturday's replay, and a source told us the feeling is he's gone for good. Uh, so, uh, Carol Kane has this story in the Irish News. You were reading that. Yeah, I think, I think we actually have the Irish News story from Carol Kane. Yeah, Brawley's RTE career at an end after a final replay snub. So, Joe Brawley has appeared in RTE for the last time as a GAA pundit, the Irish News understands, although he remains under contract. It's believed that his appearance on the live show for last Sunday's drone football final was his last with the broadcaster. RTE announced yesterday he would be replaced by Stephen Rochford mm -hmm. for the game, and um, it doesn't actually say... There's no quotes from him uh, saying that that's the end of it, but... Yeah, Carr's, Carr's reporting it, so he's... I don't know Got whether he's hearing somewhere, it yeah. somewhere or he's, or he's thinking of somewhere. Like, you're, looking at the, you're looking at the mirror there, are you? The star have a couple of good insights. Into this the is the sun. Uh, this, uh, we'll get the star in one second. Yeah. Um, so a source last night explained this isn't just because of the golf comments. It's been a long time coming. The feeling is he's gone for good. Now, I can't tell if this is a source connected to Joe Brawley or if this is a source connected to RTE. Um, I couldn't tell either from reading it this morning. Yeah, so I mean, look, I, I was at the game, so I didn't see the halftime analysis. But the point about this is, you either back your pundits or you don't. And if your pundits are going to say stuff you don't agree with, then that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're, they're <laughs> it, it wasn't like Brawley said anything outrageous or outlandish. Like he didn't question anybody as a man. He just got it completely. He got it completely wrong. Yeah, like it was bizarre. Yeah, and so was, it was bizarre. But these things happen, right? And you yeah. don't you don't sack your, you don't suspend, you don't remove your pundits from making mistakes because, like, I don't know. I, they are entitled to make a decision. Like Stephen Rochester is going to be quite interesting on the on the panel. Yeah, but like, here's the point, Tommy. That that ruins. That's the end of all of those good conversations. Like everything now becomes everybody terrorised of making a mistake. If you're a coach and one of your best players makes a mistake, you ball him out of it and you don't put him in the next game, which is the biggest game of the season, everybody else is a bit on edge, right? It, dep it depends, yeah, on the personalities. Everybody there. else yeah. is a bit on edge, going, well, it's going to be me next. And, and actually, you know what they do? They select people who are never going to say anything that is in any way on the edge. It's like, all going to be perfect. It's going to be the, the, the great era of Blando. You That's what we can expect now from those, those panels. And frankly... That's okay, because Sky have uh, top quality stuff from um, Canavan and from Donaghy. It has been moving towards that, like there has been a new era of, uh, I suppose, pundits coming through. I think there's the front page of the star there. Front page of the star, I'll give you this before I get into Too dry for a brolly. Analyst off replay panel, and then they have exclusives um, from uh, Dunphy, who is gone from RTE, and from Lucknan, who is not gone from RTE. Uh, so, is the, is the man who was gone from RTE saying it was a bad decision? I'm not yes sure. or no, what do you think? I, I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Is the man who's still at RTE, do you think he's back in the RTE decision? Do you think he yeah. thinks, well, you know, no, look, difficult decision, but I know them in there and like, it's the right call. I don't know if Jerry's the man to do that, is he? Jerry's the man to say it's the right call. And also patronise Joe Brawley. It's brilliant. It's like, it's a masterpiece in uh, patronising Brawley. And also, there's a slash of... Uh, if you have a town hall or a pub setting, there's no one better than Joe to entertain the crowd with witty anecdotes and tales of outrageous behaviours by players and managers. He's most entertaining in that role, but TV is different than that. Lachlan knows TV. And he's saying, you should do what I do, right? Uh, in a way, the fallout from his comments about David Goss' performance in the drawing game might be the best lesson he ever learns. RTE would be perfectly justified in not having him on. Knowing the people in RTE, they would be very loyal to Joe, would they? Are they? Are they being loyal? Is this, is this your definition of loyalty, Joe Lachnan? And they will want him to learn from this and become the great pundit that he is capable of being with that extra bit of discipline. I mean, Lachnan, his reputation as a pundit is based on his ability to give people a lash of his mm. tongue. And sometimes it's right and sometimes it's wrong. And sometimes he makes pretty awful mistakes. But actually, that's okay because that's a pundit's job. It's not a pundit's job to... It's certainly a columnist's job. And yeah. 
many pundits are just ex um, extensions of that. I, th I think though we're into a new era of this. I think that I think that our intelligence around the game has changed a lot. Like there's sure, so many more podcasts. Sure, but you can you can do that. Can, and you can, you can you can have a bit of both. You can't just have you can't just have 25 minutes of you can't. squares and shapes. Absolutely you not. You need somebody going what boiling this down to its essence. What is this game about? I'm not sure if I've ever seen that from that RT panel from any of the older RT panels. I'm not sure if I ever seen that. It was more talking points or it was more arguments like. In the at half time in the All Ireland final, when so much had happened in that first half, when Kerry got so much right, we were missing so much, when they were seemingly on top of the Dublin kick out for so long, and the next thing they weren't, Dublin hit them for 1 2. Then there's the red card, the penalty. That was the only thing they talked about. There was no like, what's Kerry doing in the second half now with an extra man? What, do, what have Dublin done right? What have Dublin done wrong? Yeah, but that was all happening on Sky. Somebody's making that decision though. And it's not, it's not just the pundits making that decision. It's is the, Joanne Ca is Joanne making that decision? I don't think Joanne Catlin's making that decision. It's the director and the producer. It's the producer of the show who's going, right, these are the top points that we're going to do. This is what we want to talk about. I need an answer to this question and this question. Well, perhaps the lads all got sidelined by that. Like, we could see it in the parade, and it sounded like it was, a, it sounded like it was an off-air conversation before the game started. You, you might not have heard this, where Brawley and Spillane were constantly talking over each other, and Brawley goes, stop talking over me, stop patting me, why are you patting my leg? So, like, it, it, was, it was pantomime stuff before the game. They were taking centre stage when it's, like, one of the biggest games in Gaelic history since 1982. They're not taking centre stage, though. I did, I've I seen people say that. I've seen people say that. It's like... I mean, you can tune it out. You can go, and, you go can. and have a cup of tea if you want. Of course you can. Of course you the can. The game is the game. But you want to find out what's about to happen here. I what's think going to happen? I, I, yeah, Grant. We did 17 hours on the Thursday beforehand. We and did. we could have done another 17 hours previewing it. We did and we could. And so I think that the brevity is one of those things too. But my point persists. If you're going to get rid of people because they make a mistake, then everybody is going to take a step back. Nobody's going to take any risk. And the whole thing is going to be bland and crap. But the point that Dunphy's making... Uh, who doesn't think that it's a good idea to get rid of um, uh, the voice of, of Brawley. It's hard to pick out a, a single specific bit here, but um, he does say, prior to the Euro 2016 finals in France, when I was a member of the RT analysis team, I was encouraged to lay off Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane. Like, where, where does that encouragement come from? Is, is producers? I don't know. I mean, he's saying the, 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 the man, whoever the man is, right? Um... I'm concerned for the viewing public and apprehensive as to what direction the national broadcaster is taking and how it treats sport and those it employs to tease out the issues that arise in games. The trend in punditry and analysis seems to be that forthright and honest appraisal of what's going on in a match is not so welcome anymore. I, look, I think, uh, I think this is a slippery slope where you're just going to have... He's going to be disappointed with that one when we look back at the tape of that. Mm. A lot of that. Uh, if, if, sorry, the point you're making that people want better quality... Uh, tactical analysis and the nuances of what's happening in the game. You're not going to get that from any of... Maybe Rochford brings a little bit of it, but like... Well, well the, the Sunday game have improved. In the, they have upped their game significantly in the last year or so. Like, they, they're doing... They're moving the tactics boards and they're showing us bits and pieces. But on the football to, side, who's doing on, it? On the football side, well, I, I remember significantly are, um, Conor McManus and Kieran Whelan standing over... A, Conor McManus, a current player, right? Yeah, definitely. But, like, so, you, don't, you don't need, like, Jimmy McGuinness to go through stuff. No, but like, which, which, of, which, of the, which of their own team is doing it? Oh, but I'm sure many of them are well fit to, like... Look, well, I haven't seen any of it. But I, they haven't been doing it. But they've started to do it this year. They but have the Sky do it because they're because they're, they're they are one of the great copycat media organisations in the world. Oh, over there, look, that's good. We had David Myler in a game last week, and lo and behold, four days <laughs> later, he's in a game on RTE. Seemingly, he did an hour with Joe yesterday in the studio. That's going out tomorrow night. That's that's very very good. Um, but my point is more that there's such an appetite for it now. Um, and also, I, I don't know if you saw the Irish Examiner this morning, but uh, John Fogarty is a piece here. And again, we we haven't heard like any of those pieces or those reports about reading from McLean or Dunphy's opinion or Carr's column about um, that it might be the end for Bali. We don't know whether he was taken off and what the context was. For